In Bronzeville, a memorial for a young man lost to gun violence. This is my brother right here. Rashad Verner was the youngest of nine children, a senior at Urban Prep, a standout on the football field, number 88 for the Lions, and a mentor for so many who honored him here today. I just want to say that I love him. I want to make sure that I overcome for him. I'm just trying to be great like he was trying to be great. The young men who call Urban Prep home also call each other not by their first names, but their last. Mr. Werner today remembered as the friend who everyone considered really a big brother, one who pushed others to achieve. He was always just looking over us. Last Monday, the 18-year-old was found with two gunshot wounds at a home near 70th and South Paxton. Another 19-year-old was also found shot but survived. I remember on Monday, <laughs> you looked me in my eyes. Right before he left, <laughs> he said, I'll be right back, bro. I love you. <laughs> and I never thought that was going to be the last time I saw my big brother. <laughs> the pain, overwhelming for his closest of friends. As Chicago police continue their investigation, Werner's family believes he was an accidental target. Mr. Werner was one of our special babies. Urban Prep staff today commending their promising young student who was taken away at such a young age. I know he's going to do great things in his past, his, his next life, because he was an amazing young man while he was here. Farewell for now, Mr. Werner. His academic advisor said that Rashad had not yet decided where he wanted to go to college, but in a brief conversation she just had with him over the summer, she asked him to select a hat from the collection she had in her office, and he selected NIU. Rashad's death has been ruled a homicide so far. Chicago police have no one in custody. Mm.